In this segment, we're going to cover source naming and how to map your switcher. So from the toolbar, I can quickly just jump into the installation menu by clicking on it, or I can navigate through the menu system by going setup, installation. Those are just quick submenus. BNC for the physical input, and now I can pick the source name. So the sources are numbered by slot, so C, D, E, and then number. So C13, I want to rename camera 1 because that's where they're routing camera 1 to for me. So I just simply clear it out. Maybe I want it to be all capitalized. Hit A, M, space, 1. Camera 1's the new name. My mnemonic font right, all different sizes, um, so even in small or medium, you can have an inversion as well as I could go to, say, large. And with large or other ones, it's nice to be able to adjust where the mnemonic reads from. So here, I want the mnemonic to only show me number one, but I can leave the overall name camera one for other places in the menu system to make it very clear. Once I've made my changes, I hit accept, and that's what will get applied to the switcher. And then I just scroll to my next input, and I can go through and I can name all of those inputs. Upon completing, I hit home, and then I will confirm it if the changes have been made that are different. In this case, nothing changed. Now, to assign those sources to the physical buttons, we go into the setup menu, press more, and go into bus maps. So here I have 16 different bus maps I can assign anywhere in the switcher. Uh, they can be different, but for the sake of this, we're going to just assign one map across the switcher, which is generally how we do it. So I'm going to take my first map and I'm going to edit it. So I can simply select a button right in the menu and it scrolls horizontally up to button 24 because there's 24 buttons on the panel. So it's giving me a representation of what I'll see. And I can assign none to any button I want, or I can select a button and I can assign a source. Any internal source, like the color backgrounds, color black, any of the internal MLEs, any of the still stores, MLE stores, clean feeds, previews, all of these things can be assigned to a button. So we'll just use Emily One Clean as an example. So that'll now be assigned to button six. When I hit home, it will confirm the bus map change. So confirm, and now I've assigned Emily One Clean One to that physical button. So you can go through and you can map any of the buttons you like. By hitting back, I'll jump right back to that menu that I was last in. You'll note there's a second row, or shift one. That's because over here, we applied shift to the last button. If I get rid of that shift, so I can just clear the button, right? it automatically takes away that extra layer because I can't use it. So now, when we confirm that change, now my shift is gone, that button does nothing, uh, and I'm just 24 direct access. And you can apply multiple shifts to the panel, right? and then have multiple layers. So you can create lots of spacing and put other sources that are secondary to you on multiple shifted sides. So that's how you name sources and how you map them to your switcher. To do the assignment, you would be in the same menu, only there's a more button. And now I want to assign the map, or I could rename the map. I can even copy this exact map and paste it in top of a different map so that maybe I make subtle changes because I want just something a little different on one row or the other. But to assign maps, select assign and you can quickly assign one map to the entire panel, only MLE buses, only AUX buses, or you can actually go in and individually assign every single bus its own independent map. In our case, we'd say the entire panel and I would pick a map, and I would perform the assign. So now, when we left, 
we see that our bus map is completely different because that bus map was set up different than the one we set up. So we want to go back and we want to say, okay, we're going to assign this map, perform the assignment, and when we hit home, now the panel is relayed out. And that's how we assign the maps.